Now this is a review of Focal Price's remote pet training collar with LCD display for two dogs. Uh, the box comes with two units. It comes with two collars. It comes with a remote. All the batteries that you need, including the AAAs. It comes also with these uh, nuts that are supposed to go over the, uh, uh, the electrodes. Uh, uh, and it comes with diodes to test uh, the electric feature of uh, of, of these uh, of the uh, of these units. Now I have a second set here, the one that I use because the first set that I received didn't work. Now initially, when you put in the battery inside your collars, you have a certain amount of time to uh, make the connection between your remote and the uh, collars themselves. So uh, the way uh, the way you uh, put this on initially, uh, you just put in your batteries, and uh, and on it goes. Now I'm going to set it to. Uh, uh, I'm going now. It turns on initially in the uh, electric. I call it the zapping mode. Um, and, uh, so I can. Uh, I'll set it to five for my first dog. I'll set it to ten for my second dog because he has a, a higher pain threshold. Uh, then there's the vibration mode, uh, which I always set at the hundred, and uh, and that is. Uh, it's not. Uh, that strong and the dogs uh, seem to uh, react very well to it and uh, so that's the uh, vibrating mode and then there is the sound mode which has no uh, level really you just you just uh, press uh, to activate uh, the sound there's also uh, an LED uh, which is uh, not that strong but there it is and the last mode is the light mode which doesn't generate enough light to be of any use. Uh, so, like I said, whenever you put in the batteries in the um, the collars, uh, you have 30 seconds to uh, make the connection between uh, your uh, your remote and uh, the collars themselves. So the way it works is is like this: you put in your battery, you get a beeping sound, and you have 30 seconds. Uh, if you don't do it within 30 seconds, well, you miss that window, and you have to restart. So you've, so there you go, missed. Uh, I don't even think that was 30 seconds. So let's start that again and make the connection. And so I'm gonna pick uh, any mode really. Oops, I missed out again. So it was the other one that went on. Let's see, on and that. There we go, and on it went. Okay, uh, as you can see, I don't really put on the nuts that that came uh, with the the unit. I find that the compartment is tight enough, even with the do with the, the dogs uh, using them. The compartment is nice and tight, so the batteries don't come out, and the connection is there as well. So. Um, also, whenever so once the connection is made with your remote, you're ready to go, and uh, and, and uh, you're ready to go for your next outing. Now, all three units turn off in order to save power, uh, including the control unit. Uh, the way to reactivate uh, the collars themselves is just to shake them. All you have to do is shake them, and that'll reactivate them. Um, you don't have to take out the batteries at all. In order, the way to reactivate the uh, control unit is to press on the mode button for three seconds. That is if it's been off for more than uh, let's say about uh, two minutes. Like I said, it goes into sleeping mode after two minutes and uh, 
and you have 30 seconds to press on the mode button again uh, for it to, to turn back on right away. If it doesn't turn back on, that means it's been sleeping for a lot longer than, than two minutes. So what you have to do is press on the mode button for three seconds and it'll turn back on. So I'm going to let it turn off and uh, show you this in, uh, in, in a better way. Now the control unit has uh, turned off. Uh, in order to turn it back on, yeah, I just have to press on the mode button for three seconds and on it go it comes up and my settings are intact. Now the connection has already been established with the uh, callers themselves so I'll try them now uh, to show you. You see they're still activated and, uh, and uh, but if uh, they're not, once it's been sleeping for more than uh, let's say uh, two three minutes all you have to do is shake them and and they'll reactivate like I said they go the all three units go in sleeping mode in order to save the battery in my case uh, one of the callers does not but it doesn't seem to use enough energy for it to matter that much uh, now I did have an issue with uh, my initial unit which did not work um, I it, there was a lot of back and forth with focal price. Uh, finally, I made a video uh, showing them that the units didn't work, and they finally agreed and relented to send me uh, the uh, a new set. So the uh, the units uh, work really well. Um, the uh, I, the electrical mode is quite strong. Uh, the way I you can put the LED. You can put, uh, sorry, the diode uh, on the um, on the the uh, electrodes in order to test. Now I won't find them. Just put them like this in order to test the electric feature. As you can see, it just turned on. Uh, or you put your, but <laughs> you put your two fingers on, and you'll see that uh, level eight was enough for uh, it it was is quite strong so 10 is uh, even stronger and it goes up to 100 uh, it's quite strong for me uh, 10 seems to be not strong enough for my dog though so there you go um, the vibration mode works extremely well uh, and the uh, the sound mode uh, works very well it's like a warning for the dogs that uh, that uh, something's going to happen. Uh, the only thing is, it's uh, kind of confusing for two dogs. I would suggest to only use it with one dog because if you have an emergency, now it's right now it's set for the f dog number one, but let's say dog number two is do uh, doing something wrong. You go for dog number two, you try to pick up the mode, and then you zap. So all this takes about five seconds. Uh, to react uh, for a dog, so f to to um, to control a dog, so it's a lot uh, to handle with one remote. But all in all, everything uh, works very well, and uh, I'm uh, relatively happy with the units.